food preparation for our ramen shop is starting. Today, I'm gonna hit up some of the best ramen places or what we think are some of the best ramen places in the city and just see if there's any areas we need to improve in. By the way, if you don't believe I drive Ring away, been back one month, Ring once. I was supposed to be heading to Korea tomorrow, but I have to delay it by like a week, so I have to switch out my rental car because my rental car is due. So this is my new rental car. I don't have any wipes. Let's gotta go find some wipes. Yeah, someone smoked in that car. That's gross. So I'm gonna check this little guy. Although he has like a bunch of scratches here. I'm thinking that's okay because you don't they, they just look for big dents, but yeah, this car's banged up a little bit. What's up man? Yo, What's what is up? up? Oh you probably meeting me here. That's yeah. right. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Hi. You going ramen crawl with us? Yeah. Are you hungry? We're starting at uh, Tongcha. I love this place before. Have you guys tried it? Yeah, yeah. of course. I do love their sizzling dumpling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their dumpling is pretty good. That's good. Like, yeah. Dylan here is trying to be a YouTuber, right? All right, buddy. Let me know how the how the dumpling is. There you go, buddy. You, got it. you can't leave out the hot oil. All right, it's gonna be hot. Be careful. But burning your mouth is the, is an occupational hazard. Right. <laughs> He's just gonna have to like deal with it. Oh, oh, that's hot. Oh yeah, okay, okay. You can spit it out. Yeah, you're gonna nope. spit it out, right? Nobody told you to put the whole thing in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, rookie mistake. Yep. You gotta build up some tolerance in your mouth before you can do that. Uncle Mike's mouth is like, I, I, half of it is I can't feel. It's got nerve damage on like half my mouth, so you're not here yet. The dumpling is very hot. Well, because it just came out of the oven or something. What I liked about it is it was steaming and had that, you know, that feeling. The was it a loving feeling? Yeah. Was it loving? Yeah, it was. You liked it though. Thumbs up? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Okay, buddy. All right, cool. Dumpling review brought to you by Dill. That's the tantan? Tantan. Nice, nice. Very nice. Creamy and rich. That's what you want all your ramen to be. Creamy and rich. And this thing embodies all that. Right, Dylan? Scallions I love too. There's a touch of scallions, adds a little aroma and crunch. This is first class noodles. Feels like someone laid a silky pork blanket over your tongue. You know the taste I get from the tempura actually has uh, it's really good. Soy milk? Yeah, it almost has a soy milk uh, cleanliness, right? And then you get the porky flavor, mm -hmm. but you get you don't get the porky nasty flavor. Dylan, what do you think? It's good. It has a creamy rich flavor. Creamy rich flavor. Okay, that's it. Keywords. Yes. I had a good one. Rough, but it's pretty good. The meat is rough. That's because it, 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 it learns to milk. fight in, uh, in in the alleyways, in dark alleys. That's why it's rough. Mm. I love that dashi. Yeah. Unbelievable. Deepest one they could find. Yeah. This is amazing. This is so good. This tandem man is so good. Peppercorn, chilies. It's meaty. Mm. The broth is thick, but not overly so. That rich and creamy flavor shines through. This is very, you can taste the distinct citron chilies and peppercorn numminess. This is amazing. Mm. This is an adashi. My favorite too so far. Kakigori. Me and Amy might open a Kakigori <laughs> shop. If we do, it'll be in Vancouver, right? Yeah, definitely. I love you, Vancouver. Not so much Toronto. Mm. Oh, it's very nice. Mm. It's so refreshing. Seriously, it's like sticking your tongue out when it first starts to snow. Mm. The red bean is really good, too. What do you think? 
<laughs> sucks. What? Oh my god. Do you not like hockey gordy? You know why? What matcha. happened? Matcha. A lot of kids don't like matcha. Really? Yeah. Not really? until they get a little older. Trust me, when you grow up, you'll love this and bubble tea. You like bubble tea now? Oh, you'll love it. You'll love it. You'll love it when you grow up. <laughs> kids just don't know these days. Don't grow into it. Grow into it. Dylan, you got this one? Yeah, you got this one, right? Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Alright, I just want to make sure. Thanks, thanks for lunch. Alright, next place we're going to is called Zen Ramen. I've never been here before. Let's eat. Yo, this is really good. Huge beef, it's like a Chinese uh, beef noodle soup mixed with like a tonkatsu broth. The broth is really good. It's creamy and heavy, it's, but it's not very surprisingly good. It's surprisingly yeah. good, right? It's surprisingly good. The beef is under seasoned a little bit. Yeah, there's definitely a mix, like a mix between Taiwanese noodle soup and uh, tonkatsu broth. Spicy tonkatsu. Okay, it's good. It's not as rich as I would have liked, but it's solid broth. It's not oily at all. No, it's not oily at all. It's very like got a clean finish. I feel like the noodles could be a little more al dente. Overall, the flavor is very nice. This is the tonkatsu shoyu. It's not bad. Chashu is nice and fatty. It's okay. I think overall I like Tung Chen better. Blueberry cream. I'm getting one of these. Yes, it's really nice to be able to get some Paris baguette and come eat it at the ramen shop. Nice no, kidding, don't do that. Come here and eat ramen. You gonna eat here? Yeah. You're gonna say this tastes good? Mm-hmm. Well, how do you know? You gotta be honest. If it tastes bad, you gotta, you gotta say it tastes bad. Yeah, right. Number one rule of a food blogger. If it doesn't taste good? It doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste good? I know it's gonna taste good. Appreciate that, buddy. Yeah. Welcome to the ramen shop. What a great spot. Right? What a great spot. When you're done shopping, you can eat some ramen. This is not bad. What do you think? It's definitely a brioche donut. Very it's, fluffy. It's good. That was pretty good. It's blueberry yogurt inside. Mm -hmm. mm. I like it. I love their blueberry Wow. Yogurt. Paris Baguette. Well, that's really good. Mm -hmm. Yesterday was a fun ramen day. We tried a lot of good places. Learned a lot about uh, what we want our ramen to be, which, which sets it apart from everybody else. I think we got some good ideas. It's almost over. It's been like doing nothing all day. And it's dinner time, Coco Rooster. I'm gonna introduce you guys to someone. So you guys remember Sophie? Coco this is Dumpling. Dumpling fam, meet Dumpling. This is Dumpling. All right, she is a Bichon and Shih Tzu. She's a Bichon and Shih Tzu. Yes. What are, I think they call her a teddy bear. How old is she? She is three months old. I'm gonna co-parent her. Right? You're gonna be a dead Bichon. Oh. That's kind of true. <laughs> so you're gonna live with me part of the time. Yeah. Okay, excited. She doesn't look excited. She no doesn't look excited. Food, no dumplings. Ma. No dumplings. No dumplings she's named for dumplings. Dumpling. No dumplings for dumplings. <laughs> doesn't look all that excited. Feel better if you want to eat something? Want me to, want me to share some chicken with you? Yo, you want the chicken? No <laughs> dumplings? Mm. Oh, good. Coconut hot pot chicken. Chicken is tender. <laughs> Coconut flavor is very nice in the broth. If you're looking for like a really interesting hot pot and you love everything coconut, mm. one of the best Hananese chicken you can find in the city. This is actually really healthy. I feel like I'm being healthy today. It's pretty good? It's pretty close to Santa Horb. Yeah, you think so? It's pretty close, yeah. I like the Hainanese chicken here. It's probably one of my favorite things to get. Oh, you guys want some soup dumplings too? Go get some soup dumplings. We're next door to, uh, to Kung Fu. 
All right, we got some salted egg soup dumpling coming. I love eating here because it's two great restaurants connected together. So I can eat my chicken coconut soup hot pot and I can also get my soup dumpling. So these are the wontons. One of my favorite dishes to get here. Salted egg soup dumpling. You know, they got this dumpling sauce here. I don't taste the salted egg yet. I see it, but I don't really taste it as much as yeah? I thought I would. What do you think? I don't taste it either. I love this fried rice. Right? I told you. This fried rice is so good. I think today the salted egg is a little less. I think usually it's a more flavorful salted egg, but this fried rice is amazing. You must get when you come here. Gotta get the fried rice. It's so simple too. It's just some scallions and lap chum and eggs. It's probably my favorite thing to get here. It's a fried rice. Come here, feeling like a little soup. Get some coconut. If you don't, get some fried rice. Get some chicken. You'll sleep well that night. I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Bye, baby. This is kind of crazy. Ever seen a bacon salad before? Like, the bacon's this big. So Luger is known for their big, thick slices of bacon. They're also known for their onions and tomatoes. And this thing is basically all that combined. It's a Lord's special. Hearts of palm too. Also shrimp. hearts of palm too and shrimp. I mean, basically meat salad. I don't feel like it's uh, it'll accomplish what most salads will do, but it accomplishes what most burgers will do. <laughs> it's only also one of those salads, the more you eat, the unhealthier you feel. I do love the burgers at Luger. I did a, I did a burger video, best burgers in New York City. Yeah, it's one of the best, it is. Mm. It's good, hit by that dry aged flavor. It's basically like eating a burger steak. It tastes like a steak. Garlic sauce, oh my God. Don't they bottle this stuff? I think they bottle this stuff. Good? Mm -hmm. Enjoy, guys. The crust Enjoy. is perfect. No, no. Oh my gosh. No. You could rip butter? it. Butter? Yeah. It cuts like butter. Yeah. It's very good today. Yeah. It's very good today. We've been spawning for a long time. Man. It's very good today. We need more of this. I was like butter today. Mm. Needs a tiny bit of salt, but yeah. overall, it's very good. If you do come here, though, ask for the garlic sauce. Yeah, that's that sauce is amazing. I buy that sauce in the bottle. Pretty good. Peter Luger is not my favorite steakhouse, but that burger, I've always said, that burger, one of the best in New York. All right, got my little dumpling here with me. It pooed a lot. Nobody told me how much little dogs can poo. I'm gonna go home. Let's go, baby. Cool. You know we're sort of related because look at, look at what when, when he's about to eat. Look how excited he gets. Oh. Slow down, buddy. Chill. Oh my God. Are you done already? Maybe we should start a mukbang show with this guy. He's got my appetite. That's for sure. All right, now it's time for me to eat. Japanese olive wagyu. Oh, steak for breakfast, steak for dinner. Actually, a huge thank you to the Wagyu guys. They sent this over to me because I always wanted to try olive Wagyu. Never had this before. And if you guys want to get some Wagyu yourself, I'll put their link down below for you. So olive Wagyu is uh, they feed olives to the cattle. As soon as I open the packaging, it's just a whiff of olive aroma.
just a little salt. Dumpling, you got your food. This is my food. I don't think you'd be able to appreciate the olive wagyu. I'll tell you the truth. I heard you cannot give dogs human food, otherwise they'll beg forever. I'm not giving you a bite of wagyu. If this was just like normal cattle, I'd give you a big chunk. This ain't normal cattle. This is a splendor of nature. Ha 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 ha. Oh my God. I know this is A4, but oh my God. Hmm. As soon as you bite down that stick, just a flood of juice and the faint but ever present aroma of olives. This is just the splendor of the meat world. This has been a busy week, like a really busy week. I have so many decisions to make, so many things to do. All I can strive for as a food lover is just for a bite of food that takes me away from all the stress and all my troubles for a little while. Today was that day. I mean, a breakfast of steak and burgers and that amazing salad. And then this, I think I'm gonna celebrate with some wine or sparkling grape juice. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go eat and play with dumpling. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> you wanna take a selfie with daddy? Come on, jump, jump, jump. Oh, there we go, there we go. Tummy rub, tummy rub, tummy rub, tummy rub. <laughs> no, no, I think Dumpling deserves her own channel. What do you think? The Dumpling Chan channel? Talk to her about it.